You used to call me on my cell phone. What's up? Uh, it's Daria. Um, I'm here to explain and walk you through our classical conditioning experiment on my unwilling brother, Gabe. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't have, like, a really tired voice, because it's definitely not, like, 11.30 at night, because I definitely didn't forget that we needed to explain classical conditioning before we show the experiment. Yay! Anyways, as you all know, I'm a very trustworthy person, you know, with the provided image you can tell that I actually uh, went to Harvard, and, you know, I'm very good at uh, safety and experiments, and conducting them and of course explaining them always goes with it so you know that i'm really trustworthy and i got all the information you're going to need basically with classical conditioning it is when we learn to associate two stimuli in order to anticipate an event and there are five parts yeah i think that's five yeah five parts to classical conditioning the unconditional stimulus the unconditional response, the neutral stimulus, the conditioned stimulus, and the conditioned response. Unconditional stimulus is a stimulus that naturally and automatically triggers a response. In this particular experiment, our unconditional stimulus is a pencil being thrown at Gabe, my brother. Conditioned response is the unlearned, naturally occurring response to the unconditional stimulus, which is the pencil being thrown at my brother. The unconditional response is Gabe flinching or getting upset about said thrown pencil. The neutral stimulus is a stimulus which initially produces no particular response before conditioning, but after conditioning it will become the conditioned stimulus, which is an originally irrelevant stimulus that becomes associated with a unconditional stimulus, which triggers a conditioned response. In this case, both the neutral stimulus and the conditioned stimulus are the vine boom sound effect. And finally, the conditioned response is the learned response to a previously neutral stimulus. In this experiment, the uh, conditioned response is Gabe at pretty much expecting a pencil to be thrown or flinching or getting upset when he hears the vine boom sound effect. As you can see here, Gabe has pretty much no reaction whatsoever to the vine boom. He does giggle a little bit, but he's probably just texting someone's mom. Ow. As clearly demonstrated here, Gabe has issues. Seems like he woke up and chose violence because immediately after I threw the pencil at him, he got up and threw the pencil back with zero hesitation. You stop. As demonstrated in this trial, Gabe has attempted to commit aggravated assault. It should be noted that a literal newborn infant could hit harder than he can. Now Gabe has been classically conditioned to respond to the vine boom sound effect 
by expecting a pencil to be thrown at him. We consider this experiment a success. I know in there, I like bleep. You know, they mean one thing.